hello and welcome to your vampire spray tan. Have you been to see our deliciously mortal receptionist yet? If you haven't, then I suggest you head along over to her so she can sign you in. But if you've already done that, then we can get started. So, have you had a vampire spray tan before? No? Well, you are in safe hands. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cecile Bellamere and I graduated from the College of Undead Beauty in 1408 in which I received the Opal White Award for excellence in spray tanning. So, like I say, you are in safe hands. So, I just need you to just remove your veil of mist just so I can accurately determine the best shade for your skin. At the Necromance Spa, we see all varying stages of undead, so you have nothing to be worried or ashamed about when you're ready. Thank you. And might I be so bold as to say what a fine specimen you are? <laughs> Great. So I just have a few questions for you, just so I can choose the right product range for your skin. We have a varied amount of products here at the spa, so I want to make sure I get the right one for you. Just a moment. So, have you ever had a spray tan before? You've answered no, that's fine. And what is the reason for you getting this spray tan today? So you can blend in with the humans to make them think you're one of them. An excellent choice and the number one reason for vampires to get a spray tan. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how allergic are you to holy water? 1 being the most resilient and 10 being bursting into flames. About an 8. Not quite a royal vampire, are we? <laughs> Over time you do build up a resistance. Have you ever been exposed to silver? No, lucky. And have you ever been exposed to UV rays? Once, when you were first made. <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. I forgot that I was a vampire when I was first made and I tried to watch the sunrise. I know, stupid mistake to make, but we all do them when we're young and naive. <laughs> and do you blister, burn, or go up in smoke when exposed to sunlight? Go up in smoke. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Based on your answers, I think we should go with the St. Transylvania range, which 
which is quite a hard wearing long lasting tan for those newbie tanners who aren't quite sure about the process and don't have that much of a tolerance to UV rays or holy water or silver so I think that's the best product range for you. The St. Transylvania range, like our delicious receptionist mentioned, are based on the nine circles of hell. Now, I do have some colour charts here, but unfortunately we don't have the full range. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, one has a pink undertone and one has a yellow undertone. So can you remember what undertone you were when you were human? It's a hard thing to remember, isn't it? When it's been so long. But I would say, based on your skin, I would say you're more of a pink undertone. Mm -hmm. It's a more subtle and soft kind of uh, colour. So, like I was saying, we only have six colours present at the moment, which are Limbo, Lust, Gluttony, Greed, Anger, Heresy, the ones, unfortunately, we don't have in stock are violence, fraud, and treachery. These are actually being remanufactured at the suppliers, as a lot of people complained that the last two darker shades were too orange. Now, some vampires said that they couldn't blend in anywhere because their skin was too orange. But I have heard reports that there is a place called Essex where vampires have had some success being so orange. But I don't think I would ever want to go somewhere where orange skin is accepted, would you? <laughs> anyway, so Based on your skin type, I would say that Limbo would be the best choice for you, this top one here, as it is a first time choice for those newbie tanners who are in Limbo, so to say, about how dark they want to go. But it's honestly up to you if you're feeling brave, then you can go for something more darker like gluttony. What do you think? Limbo. Good. It's an excellent choice and I think one which would suit you so well. Good. So, here is your colour, Limbo. And all of the St. Transylvania range contain essential embalming fluids like formaldehyde, ethanol, and of course they are completely free of holy water, silver, garlic, anything that we vampires hate so it is safe on your skin. So, as you are already dead, you do not need to exfoliate as normal humans would. As your skin is dead, it does not shed like a normal humans would. So we can get started straight away. First, would you be able to remove all of your clothing? Yes, all of it, 
obviously I cannot spray the product on your clothes because that would be stupid. <laughs> so if you can just remove all of your clothes and just stand in that tanning booth over there, then we can get started. Great. So I'm just going to start spritzing this across your whole body. And if you can just stay still as best you can and I'm going to ask you to just lift your arms in the air and just move in certain positions just so I can accurately get your whole body. Okay? Good. Here we go. And if you could just stand like in a starfish shape. Good. I'm going to go around you. So, all of our products have not been tested on animals, but on unwilling human test subjects. The main properties of this range is that it has an SPF of a thousand. So it will protect you from UV rays for a very brief amount of time. For those quick getaways from an angry mob or a vampire hunter. This session will last 10 years. So, after 10 years, you will have to come up, come back for a top up. So, if you speak to the receptionist on your way out, she can give you a discount for a century. just close your eyes. I'm going to put my hands across your face. I'm just going to spritz you. Good. Excellent. You're doing very well. Not long now. And now could you just put your hand on your hip and your arm up in the air like that. Good. Excellent. And then swap sides. It does feel like you're doing a merry little dance, but there is no merriment here. Good. And I'm just going to work on your legs. Good. Excellent. It's looking very good. you done. Now, it will feel a little bit strange at first because as your skin again is dead, it doesn't have the proper circulation and properties of human skin. So, 
the product will not sit to the skin or sink into the skin like it would when you were human. So we need to bake it to the skin. Now, don't be alarmed. It is a completely painless procedure. You will just have to sit under our special lamp just for about 10 to 20 minutes and there the product will fuse and just lock into the skin. If we don't do this process, then as you walk out of the salon, the product will just slip off your skin and we wouldn't want that, would we? Plus, it would make an awful mess. <laughs> so, if I can just invite you to sit down on our sofa over here, I can prepare you a lovely drink. We have some very specialised and vintage wines, um, human blood wines, of course, only the best for our clients here at the Necromance Spa. So, if you can just sit down for me. How are you feeling? Are you nice and comfortable? Can I get you a drink? We have a lovely vintage red female bottled at Woodstock, young virgin blood, 18 years old, a real psychedelic trip. What do you think? Can I tempt you in a glass? Maybe one. <laughs> Good. I will just pour that for you now. your drink. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. So, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sounds of the storm outside. And I will set up the lamp for you, and you may drift off if you want to. And until the time I think the product has fused to your skin sufficiently. I will remove it, but it should take between 5 and 10 minutes, dependent on your skin. So enjoy your drink, and I will see you in a moment. You look amazing, and your fangs look whiter than ever. How do you feel? Do you like it? Well, you won't be able to see yourself in a mirror, because of course we are vampires and we do not have a reflection. But I have a very specialized photographic camera 
that allows me to capture your appearance and the developed film will be available at the reception for you to have a look at, maybe put on your wall when you get back to your castle, or maybe leave as a calling card to your victims' families that you drain of blood. Yes. So, bear with me a moment. So, this is our signature vampire photographic camera. And it will accurately show you what you look like. Would you like to put your clothes back on first? A good choice. I'll give you a moment. I love the shirt you're wearing, by the way. <laughs> it's so gothic, but modern at the same time. Are you ready? Good. Okay, let me just check that is it all in order. So, if you can just stand still at first, and then just slowly turn in a circle, that would be perfect, okay? Ready? Okay? Good. Excellent. That's good. And I'm just going to take one from here downwards. Yes. And you can just turn in a circle. Good. Excellent. Yes, you can do some poses if you like. Good. Excellent. Good. Get closer. Good. Your face. Good. Good. Excellent. So, like I say, that film will be available to you by at the receptionist. As it's your first time, this will be completely free of charge. So it has been wonderful to meet you and I hope that you have enjoyed the experience here at the Necromance Bar. And hopefully we will see each other again in 10 years time. Take care. See you soon.